quite apart from the specific questions and debates about whether Secretary Clinton is going to be convicted for her crimes, we must grapple with the reality that the public trust, the rule of law, and the security of our nation have been badly injured by her actions. In the coming months, the next time that a career military or intelligence officer leaks an important secret, that is a legally defined classified matter that relates to the security of our nation and to the security of our nation's spies who are today putting their lives at risk to defend our freedoms, the next time there is such a leak, one of two things is going to happen now. Either that individual will not be held accountable because yesterday the decision was made to set a new, lower standard about our nation's security secrets. We will therefore become weaker. Or, in the alternative, the decision will be made to hold that person accountable, either by prosecution or by firing. In that moment, that individual and his or her peers and his or her family will rightly ask this question. They will say, why is the standard different for me than for the politically powerful? Why is the standard different for me, a career intelligence officer or a career soldier, than for the former Secretary of State? This question is about the rise of a two-tiered system of justice, one for the common man and one for the ruling political elites. If we in this body allow such a two-tiered system to solidify, we will fail in our duties, both to safeguard the nation and to enable the people to believe in representative government and in equality before the law. This stuff matters. Lying matters. The dumbing down and the debasing of expectations about public trust matter. Honor matters. And woe to us as a nation if we decide to forget this obvious truth of Republican government. Thank you, Mr. President.